How to avoid embarrassing yourself when you play a solo? How to avoid embarrassing yourself when you play a solo? I don't want you to feel embarrassed when you play a cool lick or a cool phrase. I know you're practicing a lot of scales, a lot of different techniques, a lot of cool licks or whatever phrases, but then at the end of the phrase, at the end of your coolest lick, you just suck when you play the final vibrato. So let's talk about the most important thing on your playing, the vibrato, all right? So let me show you the way I do, okay? My most, you know, the way I normally do my vibratos. And uh, there, there are many ways of doing vibratos, but let me show you the basics here. So first of all, the movement uh, basically is a rotation movement. So it's like opening a door, okay? That's the movement, okay? So this. <laughs> Okay, you can do like this too, some guys, right? You don't need, sometimes I see some guys like, just like shaking the guitar, you don't need to do that. Maybe, you know, live, some situations, it might look cool, but it's only the hand, right? It's not like... Cool. All right, so rotation. Second thing, and please, that's the most important thing here, intonation. So let's see you have, uh, let's, uh, let's see here. That's a note, right? A steady line. And now you have this steady line, you go up, you know, and back to the original note. And that's the most important thing here. You have to go back to the original note. Otherwise, if you go back, you know, halfway, it's gonna be out of tune. So. It's not. Right, it's not like a micro band and then stays there. You have to go back to the original note. If you're using a, a wami bar, you can go under the note and reach the original note, right? So like... Okay, mm, here, going under the original note. Or if you're just playing a plain note, it has to go up and back to the original note. And this is crucial. This is the most important thing because otherwise it's going to sound out of tune and you don't want that, right? And you don't want to feel embarrassed because you don't, you think it's the guitar, you think it's the string, but actually it's your fingers, right? So um, now about the how you're going to uh, play the vibrato, you know, how you're going to give your, put your voice into that. So one thing is like, when you're going to start doing the vibrato? So I like always, for me, normally I like to wait a little bit. So the more you wait, uh, it gives you a sense of control, I guess, like peaceful, it's calm. Right, let me show you here. Let me, let me see if you have the same feeling. So you have... No vibrato is kind of weird, because don't no life to the melody. So here, no vibrato. It's uh, something's missing, right? So okay. So did you notice that I I waited a little bit? So I wait and then I start the vibrato. So the more you wait, it gives you this peaceful feeling. Okay? You can play the vibrato right away and it, is, it, it will sound more aggressive. 
and it will sound more anxious, I would say. Right? It's more aggressive, like straight to the point. And uh, so, you see, little thing, it can make, it can make a big difference. Um, so again, you can wait and then start the vibrato, or you can start right away, okay? Second thing is like, um, the further you go from the original note, the further you go, the more aggressive it will be, right? So let's see. Like, that I would say the rock guys, that's the way they play, right? Some other styles of music, you don't see that much, you know, like really going out of the, you know, like half, half, um, half step up. Okay, so the further you go, the more aggressive it will sound as well. Another thing that you have to uh, keep in mind is how fast you're gonna play. So you can play super fast and it gives this sense of anxiety, I, 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 I believe. So I like the, the vibratos that are like slower and uh, it doesn't matter if you play a fast run, but then at the end you just play a, a slow vibrato and it sounds super cool. I just went like maybe 10 days ago, I went to the Iron Maiden concert and uh, I love to watch Adrian Smith and uh, playing his vibrato. It's like super calm and slow, like f pure control. So. <laughs> Okay, um, so slow vibrato, school, fast vibrato like Zach Wilde, it's pretty good, but just be careful not to play super fast and sound like a, I don't know, like a, like a ship or something, you know, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> just be careful because that's not so nice, but you know, it depends on the song, you, you never know, maybe it can be cool as well. But be careful. So you have to have the control. So if you just if you decide to play a fast vibrato, it's because you want that, right? It's not because it's like you're super anxious or you're nervous and you you can. Is when I see a guy playing like this, I can feel the guy is nervous or not because of the vibrato, or if the the, the player has control or not. So vibrato. So how how fast it is. Another thing is. You can also start slow and then accelerate at the end, which or the opposite, right? Let me show you. Slow and fast, or of course, fast and then slow. Cool. So remember, rotation. You shake, I'm shaking the guitar here, but you know, anyways, avoid, you know, be, be, be cautious about how much you shake your guitar. Um, how long you wait until you have the vibrato, how fast, uh, be careful about the pitch, uh, the intonation, and uh, have fun. And now you go and listen to your favorite guitar players and just pay attention on the vibratos and just copy them, mimic them, just try to imitate them and you're gonna mix all those different ways of playing vibratos and you're gonna 
have your own way of doing it. All right, so choose a group of notes, experiment all of those variations that I mentioned here, and uh, that's it. Simple. And uh, subscribe to the channel, leave your comments, and see you in the next video. Bye.